Jan Munika's damaged house is being strengthened to withstand future earthquakes. It's a complex operation. Here, this part of the building is already repaired. You can see it here. This iron rod holds the walls and the inner part of the building together. Another section had to be completely torn down and is being rebuilt. The house was damaged in the aftermath of a strong earthquake in 2012 here in Groningen, where gas extraction has triggered tremors for decades. It was horrible. Everything was moving. There was a huge noise. There was one loud bang. It's a huge loss. It was a beautiful house. We were happy in it. The earthquake almost caused the collapse of the more than 100-year-old barn as well. Its roof is now reinforced by steel beams. Munica kept a record of the earthquakes, which began in the region in the 1980s. The ones in red were serious, some registering over three points on the Richter scale. I began to record the earthquakes in 1994 and I stopped in 2015 because there were so many earthquakes that this list would have gone all the way to the ground. The earthquakes have led to more than 160,000 damages claims to date, which prompted the Dutch government to scale back gas production and take a decision to close down the gas field by next year. But the Russian invasion of Ukraine and slashing of gas flows to Europe has thrown those plans into question. The Dutch government is now considering tapping the field's still ample reserves in case of a gas emergency in winter. Makial Mulder is an energy expert at the University of Groningen. He believes it's possible to temporarily raise output at the Groningen field to get the residents on board as well. If you look at the value which you could earn from, which you could make by selling, producing Groningen gas and selling it on the market, which is huge. If you only use a small part of that, these revenues to compensate all inhabitants of the region of Groningen, at the expense, a bit higher risk for earthquakes because this still exists. So this could be the best decision for, for everyone. Well, we've got cracks in the wall, but there's also cracks in the ceilings. But residents in Groningen don't trust those promises. Quick and appropriate compensation has, until now, been a distant dream for many. We made a new claim. Marian Tori has been petitioning authorities for six years to recognize and pay for the damage she says was caused by gas extraction and pull down the house if needed. She's still waiting for a decision. The damage, meanwhile, is growing. This is the type of damage that, you, that we see a lot. And it's the one that, it's the sort of damage that really scares me. A lot of people are afraid with the er next earthquake that the roof will come down and, well, the beams may land on you. The issue has led to heated debate about Netherlands' future energy options. Local Green politician Justine Jones says the crisis is an opportunity to ramp up alternative sources and energy efficiency and insists that extending the gas field's life should not be an option. Extracting fossil fuels comes at a cost. It comes at a cost to people and it comes at a cost to nature. People think that now the gas tap is being closed further, that, that's, that this will mean that we have no more earthquakes. Even if we close by the deadline that the government has given it itself, we still have a problem here. We should not prolong the extraction because the consequences will just go on and on and on. In Jan Munika's case, it took 10 years to finally get financial compensation to rebuild his home. And Minika knows from experience that the earthquakes will continue in the area for some time to come. There are some months where it's quiet, but then you have a new earthquake, you have new damage, you have to register it with the authorities, and the whole craziness begins again. The Dutch state and the gas field operator have paid out over a billion euros so far to affected residents for rebuilding and strengthening homes. None of the residents are looking forward to continuing damage to their homes. But the Dutch government may be out of other options if the gas crisis takes a turn for the worse in the winter.